Hello, baby girl. Let's start now without any further delay. Hey, before we start, let's choose a nice PFP. I always use Pinterest. You can go with whatever you want to. Now, add the PFP. You can add it by going into settings or just click on the edit profile like I did. Now go to ChatGPT and type boys or girls names. The AI will give you names to choose from. Now, go to settings and scroll to persona and add your name. Now scroll down more, you will see appearance. Type your basic information that your persona should look like. Basic information can be your name, nickname, age, height, race, skin tone, hair, eyes, and etc. etc. This is my actual account. We will try to make our second profile look something like this. I will provide the link in description box. You can go to your settings to add code in about me section. But here I am adding it through edit CSS. It is easy and you can see which part you are editing. This is a very helpful guide. These codes we will be adding to edit our profile. I will provide the link in description. Let's start with our profile card. Here you can use this to make your PFP, follower count to center. With this code, you can mask your image. The mask images can be found in the other resources section from this page only. To make it unique, just use ChatGPT. Copy the code from the website and add it here. Now we will center the follow button and also edit it. I have made mine unique by using ChatGPT. Just ask ChatGPT how to add glow or change the text. You can see how it looks now. We are done with profile card and the follow button. We will now edit the bot card. First create the bot using the basic information. I have provided the link on how to create a bot in description. Now we will edit our bot card. We can make our card look transparent or add GIF or just add Brady to it. We will add these codes to make our card look unique. I've tried using most of the codes to show you how it works, but some. So use ChatGPT if you have any doubts. We can even remove the soft corners from bot card and change the start of card, add even edit our tags on the bot card. To get image address and grab the link, just use Imager. 
It's very easy and simple to use. Let's start with bot card preview text. In place of color, you can add any color hex code or just ask ChatGPT on how to add gradient in place of just one color. This is used to add background color to your bot card. In place of color add your hex code. This is to add GIF to your bot card. You would need pin trust for this. Now copy the code and paste it here. Now in the place of link, we will add the image address. Now go to Pinterest and select a GIF and copy the image address and paste it like shown. This is to make our bot card transparent. You can just copy and paste it. And if it does not work, just ask ChatGPT. This is for the bot card border. Add the number and style, dotted or spots or etc. And the color of your choice. This is to remove the soft corner of the bot card. You can just copy paste it. This is to add overlay to our bot card. I haven't done it. Just add opacity of your choice and the color too. If you have doubts, just ask ChatGPT. This is to change the color of our chat count ribbon to just copy and paste it and add your color gradient. This is to edit the bot card star, just copy and paste it. Add the link in place of link and adjust its height accordingly. Now let's take a look at other resources. Now let's try editing our bot card tags, just copy and paste it, add the color and value px accordingly. You can add page overlays and change the star for the footer, but I haven't tried it all. You can even change the public characters text 
It actually did not work for me, so I would say use ChatGPT, I guess. You can add a page doll, I did add it, and it works for me. Well, I have tried this too, but it felt simple, so I just let the original be. Now tags menu, add color, and the value px. To be honest, I just used ChatGPT to add hover effect and add color and value px. These are all the other things that can help you to I did not show you everything but I tried to show as much as I can in this video. Now let's add the grayscale to the bot card. The code I gave you will add grayscale to profile pic and a bot card but the code I used and developed using ChatGPT only adds grayscale to the bot card. This is the last code and then we are done. Hope you enjoyed. First check out the page in the description and then use ChatGPT. If it doesn't work, ask ChatGPT. And if it still doesn't work, I don't know, okay. Sorry, but hope this video helps.